Hey, what's up, gamer? Phoenix here. In this video, we're gonna be going over Shiro's POV from IEM Dallas Qualifier versus Astralis. He destroyed com them completely on city side. 17 kills, one death, so 17, one KD. Let's see what he's doing and try to learn from his positioning and his decision making. Try to steal some plays for our own games. Well, let's straight jump straight into it. First round, he's just going con. Picking top mid, this is a very good angle for pistol, like you're not very, uh, it's not very scary for you to hold this angle when they have glocks. Obviously if they have like P250 they might peek you and kill you, but he's holding top mid, he has another teammate in window, pretty good setup. Rotating over towards B, I'm gonna play 2B setup I guess, one short. I'll try to move over towards bench, yep. I think bench, one guy backside, one guy short, so now they shouldn't expect him if they go B because they will see one guy backside, one guy short, they shouldn't expect another guy bench, right? So it's a great spot. And they're coming. Alright, he's gonna ice here? Well, well, in my face, yeah. I didn't watch this demo before, so <laughs> kind of surprising, but yeah. Really nice control on the shots, though. I love his patience and being calm. First kill, obviously, easy in the back, but the next kills weren't that easy. They were already looking at him and fighting him, so really impressive. Okay, buying MP9 here. Let's see what he does with this weapon. He's just pushing ramp. So it's important to note the reason he can push ramp like that, by the way, is uh, that the enemies just had like blocks, right? Uh, I mean, they had just uh, uh, pistol rounds. So he knows now Astralis is gonna save with full glocks and full save, right? So that's why he's pushing like that. He would never push if Astralis had a plant last round and they would have forced, right? Really important to note here. Smart move from him. I wanna just farm versus glocks to buy that off later on. it up a bit. Okay, two kills versus Glocks. Should give him decent money. This is kind of a bonus round. They have like three MP9s. what they decide to do. Astralis should be full by, by the way, so... If we nade top mid... Oh, so he's right now he's gonna flash for Axel under when Axel hears anything. It's a pretty good setup, you're just aiming above the light and right clicking the flash. Axel can peek off that and kill the under guy. If you ever wanna do that with your teammates. Basically sitting in under and asking for a flash from a window player. All it boxes. Obviously he can't peek with MP9. Oh, that's really interesting that he's checking those angles with MP9. I'm gonna skip ahead a bit. Yeah, okay, I skipped those kills. I guess they were nice shots. I'm not skipping anymore. I'm gonna miss some important kills. <laughs> okay, so they have some kind of idea that the uh, Astralis player could have been out there, right? So it's, yeah, they're out there. And where is the last one? Oh, from behind? No. Good awareness. Nice to check that. Oh, that's something we can steal for our games. Just being always aware of every single possibility. Even though it's super unlikely that the guy is coming city behind you, or he just checked it. Just a bit. Be sure. And now pulling out the op. Let's see what he does with the op. Well, my bet is he just plays default. Shiro is really like 
uh, very conservative player who doesn't make like a lot of insane plays, insane risky plays, that's what I mean. Probably gonna just post up window, right? Those. Boosting ladder, that's that's really good play. He's spotting for that boost window, I assume. So the way he was hiding here guys, you might not notice that little, little element, but the way he hid when the smoke was fading, it's very important because he doesn't want to sit and watch the smoke fade as uh, the guy in the smoke would have advantage. So he hid behind the wall and now after the smoke faded, he's picking it. Very small detail, but really important to notice, right? He was looking at that smoke all the time. When the smoke started fading, he hid behind the wall in ladder and then he's coming back at the angle after the smoke faded. Super important. And really smart from him. Aye, 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 missing a shot. Well, happens to everyone. Okay, so now he's just posting up for the guy, like, going fast short. And he kills him, well. And the way he held that angle, he had some kind of read that device likes to do that 100%. Like, no way no anyone's holding that at tight of an angle without getting a read. So that's really nice mind games from Shiro and from Cloud9. They know how device is playing. I guess on that level they would have a nice read after analyzing demos and shit. So he makes sure no one's left side con. Just plays around the tick and area. So in Pug guys, it's really common for the upper to play all the time in the window. Well, in pro games, it's really common for the upper to play more times in ticket or around ticket area than actual window. Because window is getting smoked off every single round, right? So no point to play there. Jones Palace, just flash Burn. Are they gonna try to push him? On oh, actually not. So he knows where the last one is, just holding a passive angle. Right, let's see. As if Nix had no chance here. Uh, just off angle. <laughs> what, what can you do? Okay, he has like spawn for window, so maybe he tries to jump short in this round. Although Astralis shouldn't have good money, so maybe he just plays default and posts up from window again. As I said, Shiro is very conservative in his playstyle. Oh, I would assume he's gonna just post up like always. And he blocks, he fucks up the movement. Ah, still gets the kill. Molly Palace, well, you guys need to notice that as well. The reason he mollied Palace here, like, there is a possibility of a lure coming out Palace. So he wouldn't be able to stay with Nafani here in uh, in Con, right? But for the timing, the Molly is burning. He can actually help Nafani and stay in Con and not worry about Palace because his teammate is watching ramp, right? So it's really important to notice the small things. He mollied Palace, so now he has a timing where the Molly is burning and he can like not focus on Palace at all. I'm I'm pretty sure he's gonna come back to watch Palace after the Molly stops burning. So Nafani is watching below the smoke, right? That's why he can watch top mid. Okay. He stays on the angle. Oh, he's gonna get the now? No. He didn't help. Okay. And now he comes back to watch Palace. Yeah, interesting angle as well. That's 5v2, I guess, on that score. Oh, nice shot. Like he was moving, kind of. So you notice how Shiro is running around the map, he's not staying stationary. Uh, I mean, that last round he just stayed CT, but this round he's just running around the map, trying to pick different things. I guess he's having a bit of fun himself, so just looking at the score, he can do that, right? Not, 
the last guy's box, oh, but they don't know actually. Oh, they don't know. Cool. So now he plays around ticket as I said like he's gonna be really stationary just keep playing that position He has a nice setup with Hobbit His connector player switched out with him in the window so He can afford to do that Jump spotting picking con at the same time so This is a really good spot to steal like from Shiro just playing around ticket Your A player needs to be aware though that you're doing that so he doesn't like smoke ramp or anything for him Oh. Yeah, hope it saves him. <laughs> uh, this, that's a very interesting choice of ro like rotation that he rotates to jungle instead of saying city. I guess he was like aware that they know about him already, so he wanted to play a mind game and like make them scared that the opposite in city, right? And now rotate. Makes sense. So now the Astralis players are like, Op City, Op City, they're scared, right? That the Op is in City, and now he rotates to jungle. They won't expect him here. Oh, now they expect him <laughs> after he made it. Maybe they don't. Let's see. Oh, that was a tight angle. 15 6, I would have. I would think he's gonna save here, but he's gonna go for it, I guess. The score, right? Maybe not. Nah. No, no point to go for it. So even on 15-6 score, you see guys, like, in a pug, you'd probably go for this, try to win it, you know, hit some nice, uh, nice quick scopes, but here he's just gonna save. That's why he died only once, as well, in this whole half. Anyways, you can see that he's playing like 17-1, but still he has a miss right in this whole uh, clip uh, Also, he's like playing just default positions. He's not doing anything special. Just being ticket uh, Being in con these two positions are not missing your shots. This, these are important things He's not running around that much. There was one round that he's running around Tetris and, and stuff, but Basically, it's con again, right? So con, ticket, window, these are his positions you should be playing with op on Mirage. Again, just playing around con, gonna smoke up, gonna go win. He's gonna stay con, I guess. A nice shot, that was quick. Tetris for his teammates. Maybe Buster, yeah. Okay, where is the last one? Probably lurking somewhere under. Top mid, maybe. Just see how Shiro is even aware of the uh, possibility of the guy being behind him in the window. That's insane, actually. Uh, so they're checking everything, always aware of every possibility. Oh, I hope you guys found it valuable. I hope you can steal some positions for yourself. Uh, the free takeaways is just playing simple positions like uh, pawn, uh, CT ticket, and uh, and window. And when he's getting smoked off with window, in window, he's rotating off or mulling top boxes to help the mid players fight it. Right? That's really that's really it. Maybe he's getting boosted in ladder sometimes, but that's it. Like three main positions. Uh, yeah, you can do that in your games as well. I'm gonna actually think about it more in my games too. Uh, to not overcomplicate things and just post up on good angles with the op. It's not really that hard as you think it is. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.